Hello everyone, I'm Esther and today we are going to be doing something slightly different to normal. We are going to be doing a birthday haul vlog thing. I don't really know what to call them. I, I'm not even sure what I'm going to call the video. But basically we're going to look through some of the things that I got for my birthday and I'm going to explain why I asked for them or how I got them or who gave them for me or things like this. And knowing me, I'll ramble anyway so it'll be a long video. Yeah, new update kind of thing. We have a light here. It, it's not a um, professional light, it's not a lighting light. It's literally a bedside lamp, but I didn't realise that it went white. So, um, and when I say white, I mean it's white light. It's not like yellowy, orangey. Um, because yellowy, orange light just makes you look a little bit weird. But white light, which is like what the sun is doing, um, gives you light nicely. So, for example, without it, look how dark it is. With it, it's great. So, yeah, it's going to look decent. So, I've realised there's a slight issue in the fact that I film right next to my window. And my window doesn't fully close. Um, it's because there was, like, a crack in it ages ago. And we've never really had it fixed. And it just, it doesn't shut completely. And thus, my last video had birdsong in the background. I don't think... I mean, there might be stuff in it. But basically, there will be a few ambient, kind of, outdoory noises. Because I film by a window and it doesn't close properly. Sorry. Because I'm super unorganised, I didn't really decide what order I wanted to do them in. So now I'm just looking at everything that I have next to me and I'm going, I don't know what to do. <laughs> so let's start, let's start with the one on the floor, because I have to reach down. So down here, rather nicely and excitingly, we have a Converse shoe. Ooh, I should probably like this the uh, Basically, there's a lot of things that have a lot of copyright on them that are going to be in this video. Sorry, copyright claims. Yeah, I got some nice teal Converse shoes. And I needed some new ones and I like them. So that is a great present that I got. Present number two. Now most of these they are mainly from my family so I'll say if they're not. But um, just assume they are if they are. Uh, oh, I, want to go full first. I got the all time low album Future Hearts which is exciting because some of you know I really, really like All Time Low. They're one of my favourite bands alongside like Panic at the Disco, 21 Pilots and musical theatre soundtracks <laughs> because I'm weird. But anyway, I got this album. It's really, really cool. Uh, I love it. It opens up like this. Most of you probably own it. They have this cool thing inside of it though, which I didn't know. In which I'm not a major fan of theirs. Um, I really I enjoy their music and a lot of their new stuff that they've come out with recently I really really like but they gave you all these photos like Polaroid pictures of the band which is cool and back around to the beginning which I, I think that's a nice little thing to put in your album uh, like, I guess if you wanted to you could put them up on your wall or the like which is cool I love to get a Polaroid camera and take photos loads of you will know mainly because I'm using a camera um, that I, I love photography I love taking photos um, and thus cameras well another present that I got we'll, we'll just go to it now why not I've explained it a bit in previous videos is this camera that I'm using right now, it is a Lumix Panasonic camera, and let me, I wrote down the thing, it's an FZ200 model, because I didn't say that last time I talked about it, and it was a bit awkward, because I was like, it's a something 200, it's an FZ200 model, it's really great, it has a flippy out screen, which if you're planning on vlogging is get a camera with a flip out screen if you want to vlog it just makes your life ten times easier um, It ha you can zoom whilst you're in a video and some cameras don't do that 
you can there's a focus for things like flowers and close-up pictures um, and there's a normal autofocus you can manual focus it which I suck at doing but I want to learn and that it just has you can do burst photos it's a great camera if if you're looking for one uh, it's I can't remember how much it was but it was kind of in middle range it wasn't that expensive but for uh, what it does the, it was really really good price so if you're looking into cameras I would recommend this one I got all of your generic like I got a pack of socks and I got money from extended family because the, at this age they start to not know what to get, get you because you've become more of a person and things like that so yeah I got this film I love X-Men so much some of you know it's like one of my favourite film franchises um, it's amazing, genuinely. Uh, <laughs> I love it. Oh, oh, it's also occurred to me that you're not going to be able to read this. Oh well. Anyway, I got X Men Apocalypse, which X Men has always been one of my favourite series. We own like all of the films, and this one uh, we didn't own, and I went to see it in cinema. Uh, so now we have it, which is exciting. I haven't actually watched it yet because um, my brother who was at, in Falmouth at uni of course didn't watch it with us because he wasn't exactly going to come to where we live just to watch a m movie at the cinema, it's a bit absurd but anyway, we'll stick with films. I also got this film, Doctor Strange, ah, oh, it's so good because let's be honest, if you can't tell I love superhero films. But Marvel introductory character films, so like Captain America, Iron Man, all of the number one films out of them all, kinda suck. They're good, like I agree that they're, they're all good Marvel films and Marvel just makes amazing films, but they can be a bit, bit naff because it's like it's a new character and you want all of, you want the Avengers after you've seen the Avengers, that's all you want but you have to have one character as a superhero throughout the whole film. But it is played so well. It helps that I love Benedict Cumberbatch. Everyone loves Benedict Cumberbatch. He's an amazing actor. I don't know how he does what he does. Though the only thing is when we first went to see it, I, I felt like he's literally playing Sherlock American, but instead of being a consulting detective, he's decided to do something kind of useful and be a doctor. But no, I, I love it. I just, I love Marvel movies. I, ugh, they're great. They're great. And if you have, if you don't really like Marvel, I recommend Guardians of the Galaxy 1 and 2. I haven't seen 2 yet, but I'm sure it's amazing. And Doctor Strange. It's, it's, it's not as Marvel-y. You'll, you'll understand it more if you're a Marvel fan, but it's a good way to kind of slowly get you in. Number 3, which is one very, very exciting one for me. And I've covered City of Stars, so you all know how it goes. And if you haven't, then go and watch it. I might put a link in the description, I might not, or just look at my videos on my channel. Um, yeah, I love this. Uh, La La Land is amazing. Uh, my birthday was the 17th of April, so the film hadn't actually come out in England for me to have the film, but I wanted the soundtrack really, really badly. And it's really exciting. This is what it looks like. And yeah, I love, oh, I love La La Land so much. I've geeked out about La La Land in the cover video, so watch that. Uh, if you want to hear me freaking out about a film, about acting and singing as a singer and actor, yeah, it's kind of cringy. Oh well, sixthly. I was going to say it's like thirdly, but we've definitely done more than three. Um, sixthly, I have this little necklace. Which, are you going to focus? Please, focus. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Maybe it's because I'm in shot. Maybe if I... There you go this necklace which is absolutely lovely it's a little if you couldn't see it's a little bird 
with its wings out. Hello? Focus on me. Hi. If you couldn't see, it's a bird with its wings out and a pearl. Um, and uh, two really good friends of mine got me this. And I love it because basically the reason they got me it is at I borrowed one of their necklaces because I was doing a singy thing and I'm not a girly girl I don't own necklaces I wear jeans and t-shirts and shorts if I can like I, I tend to avoid fancy clothing I had this nice white and black shirt on and I thought that I needed a necklace to go with it because you know you have a long necklace and it looks cool and everyone's like oh it's great and thus long necklace so then Christmas came around and they bought me a joint present as a little necklace that I've worn it in a few videos um, which is really really nice I love that necklace um, but it was starting to wear down a little bit so for my birthday they decided that it'd be nice to get me another one and it's actually sterling silver so it doesn't like like it won't wear down as quickly because my problem is I'm such a fidget and like I'm forever like twisting it round and messing with it on my neck and it's it's bad uh, for necklace wearing because it just wears it down really quickly but it's uh, a really nice one so it shouldn't wear down which is lovely of them to think of that thank you I think actually lastly which is kind of sad I finished all my presents uh, I was gonna say the main thing is I had a fair few like the camera was fairly expensive so you get to that stage where it's not about how many presents it's about what the presents are and whether you want them or not last but definitely not least I got this which is a really really lovely uh, gift from a family who I've known for my entire life um, their son and I are really similar age and their daughter's only a year younger and uh, they've always been really really lovely and they've it, it's like when you have a family who's similar age and they're just like another family and we've always been really close to them and basically he had uh, the son had a gift like this not this one of course um, which I uh, we happened to have them around that Sunday and I was looking at it and I loved it uh, and I was like it was really cool and it was all it's um if you can't see it's all bible versey because he actually had it for his baptism uh, if you don't want to know what baptism is ask in the comments I'd be happy to explain it he had that as the gift for his baptism and uh, I was basically admiring and saying how cool it was because I, I just really liked it. I like things like that. I like quotes, I like sayings, I like Bible verses. And thus, they decided that for my birthday they wanted to get me something like it. And so she got me this, and I'm going to kind of scan it if I can. So you guys can look at it because it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's basically if you couldn't see it's got words all over so like all where the um, leaves are each um, branch of leaves and all on the wind I presume that is and on the grass down here uh, down here it is uh, Bible verses and it's Proverbs 3 and it's a really beautiful painting and I really really love it so thank you very much um, and yeah that, that's basically it I feel like I've barely filmed, but I've been filming for 17 minutes, so, um, it's good. And that is really all I have to say for this week. I really, really hope you liked this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I got for my birthday. I'm 15, if anyone's wondering. It's been great so far, if you're almost 15. It's it's not that different. You can't tell much. I thought it was quite daunting when whenever I was fourteen and I was looking on, I was going, "I'm going to be fifteen. That that's quite old. That's really weird." And then I looked back now, and I'm like, "Yeah, I'm literally exactly the same." Which is often how birthdays work. But no, it was really exciting. It was really lovely. I had a great day. You saw some clips a few weeks ago, and I really really hope you liked this video. And if you did like this video, please, please remember to like, comment and subscribe and comment any song suggestions you have. Song suggestions are amazing because however much I love music, I am not like a well of knowledge about music and songs that I can cover on a ukulele and sound decent. 
I ran out quite quickly and I have, don't worry, I have a few. I, I have them like stockpiled up, but I'm always thinking that if there's a song that you guys would like to hear, then I'd love to do it for you. So really, thank you all so, so, so much for watching. Stay strong, stay safe, stay smart and stay special. Goodbye!